computer. Good day everyone! Last topic, we have discussed how to write an algorithm, pseudocode, and flowchart. Since you are done creating solutions using algorithms, pseudocodes, and flowcharts, this time, you will now use a programming language called Visual C Sharp to code a program. Constructing the program code follows certain rules and formats. Each programming language has its own set of rules that dictates how words and symbols are put together to correctly structure a program. So in this lesson, we will know what a variable, constant, and literal are. And we will use variables, constants, and literals in creating programs. Third one, we will identify and assign the correct data type to a variable. And last one, we will construct statements and code blocks using Visual C Sharp. So, let's start. So, for our introductory question, do you still remember the alphabet characters that are used to represent values in mathematics? Well, in this topic, you will see them again to store data in a program. Most people are intimidated by the thought of learning how to create a program. However, knowing how to code is a skill like any other. Like in learning the English language, there are grammar and vocabulary skills to acquire. In math, there are formulas to follow to get the correct result. In the same manner, programming has syntax and rules that specify how programming or how programs in the language must be written. So let's start with the variables. A variable is a programmer-defined word that holds the value of the user. It also saves a portion of the memory to store a determined value. Since variables are programmer-defined words, there are rules to follow in declaring them in a program. First one, a variable must begin with a letter or underscore. Then followed by a letter, digit, or underscore. Second one, variable must not include blanks. Third one, variable must not be the keywords, which are reserved words by the language. And fourth one, variables must not be given a name with the same name as other function. So I have here an example of variables. And for our next picture, we have the, the invalid variables. So let's proceed with the constant. So a constant is an expression with a fixed value that cannot be changed during runtime. Unlike a variable, the value can be changed during runtime based on the user's input. To declare a constant in C-sharp, the C-O-N-S-T or the const is used. So to define a constant, the syntax should be follow. We have the keyword const, then the data type, then followed by the constant name, then equal it to value. So there are character constants in C-sharp that when preceded by the backslash symbol, they have special meanings. So we have here the following table of the different character constants such as the new line, carriage return, horizontal tab, vertical tab, backspace, form feed, alert, single quote, double quote, question mark, and backslash. Next, let's proceed with the literals. So literals are used as particular values within the source code of a program. For example, A is equals to 5. 5 in the space of code is a literal constant. Literal constants can be integer, numeral, floating point numerals, character, strings, or boolean values. Let's have the first one, the integer literals. Integer literals is a constant and also called the decimal numerals. So I have here an example of the different integer literals. Next one, let's have the floating point Literals. So, floating point literals are the numbers with decimals, fractions, or and exponents. So, these are the example of the floating point literals. Third one, for the character and string literals, these are the non-numeric constants. So, example. So, these are the example of the different character and string literals. So, the difference between a character 
and a string literal is a character represents a single character constant, while a string literal is composed of several characters. Also, a character is enclosed with single quotation marks, while a string has double quotation marks. So, as you can observe based on our example. And lastly, the Boolean literals. It can have either a true or false value. So, that's the definition of the variable, constant, and the literals. Now, variables are allocated in the computer's memory. A variable should be identified based on the type of data it can hold. So, the data types in C Sharp can be categorized as value type and reference type. The only difference between the two categories is how they are presented in the memory. So, we have two types of data type, the value and the reference type. Let's have first the value type. Value type holds the data within its own memory location. Then, the reference type contains a pointer to another memory location that holds the data. So, I have here an example. The color red are the example of the value type. Then, the color green are the example of a reference type. Now, let's proceed with the characteristics of a data type. So, we have three characteristics of a data type, such as the name, size, and default value. Now, let's proceed with the different types of data types. So, we have here the bool, such as the boolean, s-byte or signed byte, byte or unsigned byte, short or short integer, u short or unsigned short integer, int or integer, u int or unsigned integer, long, it is a 64 bit sign integer type, u long or unsigned integer type, decimal is used for currency values. Next one is float for floating point number or decimal numbers, then the double or the double floating point. Then the next one is the car or the Unicode character. So to sum up everything, a variable is a programmer-defined word that holds the value of the user. It also saves a portion of the memory to store a determined value. Constants are expressions with a fixed value and cannot be changed at runtime, unlike a variable, which can be changed during runtime. To declare constant in C-sharp, we will use the C-O-N-S-T or the const keyword. Now, a data type identifies the type of data a variable should hold to know how the value should be processed by the computer. Data types in C-sharp can be categorized as value types and reference type. The only difference between the two categories is how they are presented in the memory. Value type holds data within its own memory location. Reference type contains a pointer to another memory location that holds the data. Some of the value ta data types are bool, s byte, integer short, u short, u int, long, u long, and decimal. Then the data types are used for currency values are float, double, and car. So if you have any question about our discussion for today, comment that in our comment box. And if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. See you on our next topic about the use of variables, constants, and literals. See you on our next video. Goodbye and God bless.